Another movie has been shelved by Warner Brothers, and this time it was produced and co-written by James Gunn, the co-head of DC. So if his projects can be shelved, should we be worried about the DCU? Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. Today's video is about a piece of news that was released last week, but more of this story has developed over the last few days. It's been a real mix of emotions, but one that ultimately makes Warner Brothers look bad and has DC fans a little worried about the future of the DCU. Now, this all started November 9th, when The Hollywood Reporter confirmed that Warner Brothers had shelved the Coyote vs. Acme movie, and the studio will be getting a $30 million tax write-off for it. This movie was produced and co-written by James Gunn, and starred John Cena. Now, this wasn't like Batgirl that wasn't complete. This was a movie that was finished and ready to be shown to the public. It had multiple test screenings with near-perfect scores, and yet Warner Brothers Discovery didn't really care. Not only that, but The Hollywood Reporter also confirmed that when this news broke out, representatives of filmmakers who had planned meetings with Warner Brothers actually ended up cancelling those meetings, meaning filmmakers are distancing themselves from Warner Brothers Discovery because of their decisions. Now, already alarm bells should be ringing. Because of the way Warner Brothers act, they are having filmmakers distance themselves from them, which you never want to happen. Without filmmakers, you have no studio. Although it seems like Zaslav would much rather cut costs and have AI create movies for them. But fortunately, that is not allowed to happen. But what this shows first and foremost is the disconnect Zaslav has with his company, the industry he is in, and the consumer. His company is meant to be known as the director-driven studio. The industry he is in is all about telling incredible stories through movies and TV. And the consumer clearly liked Coyote vs. Acme. So Zaslav is completely out of touch with everything to do with filmmaking. And this isn't the first time he has done this. He first did it with Batgirl and then a Scooby-Doo film. He has no regard for filmmakers, he just cares about making money as quick as he can. The Hollywood Reporter did state that veteran film executives acknowledged that shelving a film for a tax write-off to avoid distribution and marketing costs can make an earnings quarter look better, but it can be short-sighted for a studio in the business of building franchises and a slate. Now, I wonder if Zaslav's obsession with making as much money as possible as soon as possible is due to the rumoured interest from Universal to purchase Warner Brothers. I wonder if he is trying to make their earnings look better than they are to increase the price Universal would have to pay to purchase Warner Brothers Discovery. It is an interesting theory. Now, there is some good news regarding the Coyote vs. Acme movie, and that is that due to the massively negative reaction from filmmakers and audiences to that decision, Warner Brothers Discovery have reversed that decision. The studio will now allow the director to shop his movie to potential buyers, as in, trying to sell it to other studios for them to release to the public. Which is fantastic news, and I really hope the movie is a huge success, because that would really show how incompetent David Zaslav is. I am so embarrassed at how I thought he would be the saviour for Warner Brothers and DC. When he came into power, he was saying all these things that sounded truly promising, but as time has gone on, he's just revealed how clueless he is with all of this. Pamela Abdi and Mike DeLuca really should be the ones running the company, or at least should have far more control than they have, because according to Puck News, who revealed all this information before The Hollywood Reporter did, they claim that Abdi and DeLuca were the ones who who convinced Zaslav to sell the movie to another studio. They understand the industry far more than Zaslav ever has, and if it was up to me, they would be in charge of DC right now. 
So, bringing this news back to DC, why should DC fans be concerned about this news? Well, because Coyote vs. Acme was a James Gunn produced and co-written movie that cost $70 million to make, and Zaslav would rather get a $30 million tax write-off than spend money on promoting this film and releasing it. And if Zaslav is willing to shelve a James Gunn movie, then who's to say he won't do the same to a DC Studios movie or show? Well, Deadline do. In an article released just last night, they report, we understand that the filmmaker-friendly Gunn and Safran's green lights moving forward are bona fide and not in danger of any tax tricks. Which is great news for the DCU, as they are reportedly safe from Zaslav, but I don't know how much of that I believe. Now, I know Gunn says DC Studios is disconnected from decisions made at Warner Brothers Discovery, and Deadline reports that the DCU is safe from any tax tricks, but I just think that isn't as true as it seems. The way I see it, I see DC Studios having its own allocated budget from Zaslav, who gives that to Gunn, and then Gunn can decide what he wants to make with that money but I don't think DC Studios is fully protected from Zaslav. At the end of the day, who owns DC Studios? Warner Brothers Discovery. And who is the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery? David Zaslav. So, Gunn may think he is safe from Zaslav's grasp, but that is only due to what Zaslav has said to him. And we know that what Zaslav says isn't necessarily what happens. Zaslav wanted a scrapper movie costing $70 million to produce, as he thought it wouldn't be able to make profit. Now, what happens if the DCU is spending more than double that on projects and not even breaking even. What does Zaslav do then? Because maybe the DCU will be incredibly successful, and maybe it can rival the MCU's best days, and I hope it does. But there is also a very high chance it goes the other way. Sure, Superman Legacy might make a profit, or at least break even, but what about the smaller characters? DC has been a very weak brand recently, and 2023 has been a dreadful year for them. The past eight DCEU movies have flopped, the best being a $393 million Black Adam movie. So to expect movies about unknown characters like The Authority to make a profit surely is unrealistic. And if multiple DCU movies flop, then who's to say Zaslav won't just shelf future DCU films, or even scrap the DCU altogether? If we look at the DCU slate so far, we have six projects being about smaller or unknown characters. Six out of the 11 are about characters the general audience either hasn't heard of or has barely heard of. Now, out of those six, four of them are shows and not films, which could benefit them slightly, and I think that is something Gunn was aware of when creating this slate. For smaller characters, building a show about them could create strong foundations for them to build off of, whilst also protecting them from the pressure of the box office. And I'm sure Zaslav is far less interested in shelving shows as you can't calculate a box office return, as no one is buying a ticket for the show. However, I think he still will be interested in the streaming numbers and the audience retention, and if the shows aren't watched by enough people to warrant more money being spent on these shows, then I think he wouldn't be afraid of scrapping them. Now, like I mentioned, I think Gunn has been smart as to how he is approaching this. Four out of the six projects about smaller characters are shows, which reduces the pressure and maximizes the storytelling capability, which can help build a relationship between the audience and the character. But I still think there is a slight concern to have if DCU projects start underperforming. And I really emphasize if as I don't think it's a necessary concern to have right now. We don't know how audiences will respond to a DC reboot, and I think the future really depends on how Superman Legacy performs, but Zaslav is ruthless and very out of touch with the filmmaking industry. We don't really know how audiences will respond to a DC reboot, and I think the future really depends on how Superman Legacy performs. But Zaslav is ruthless and very out of touch with the filmmaking industry. 
So we could very easily see multiple DC projects being scrapped at varying phases of production because Zaslav doesn't think they will be profitable. Now, I don't think Superman Legacy will be shelved, but I also didn't think Batgirl would be shelved either. Obviously, Superman is a bigger character, but the point still stands. No one expected a film studio to shelve a movie that was more than halfway through production. So whilst Superman Legacy being shelved is very unlikely, with Zaslav, it's not off the cards. Hopefully Abdi and Luca can help Zaslav make the right decisions. For me, it's just frustrating. After years of uncertainty surrounding DC, I just want consistency and I want DC to be the best it can be. I don't want to be excited for a movie or show and then it never coming out because Zaslav doesn't approve. I'm really hoping Deadline are right with their article, but they have been a mouthpiece for the studio in the past, so I would be surprised if DC Studios were the ones who told them that their movies were safe to calm down fans. Like I said earlier, just because DC Studios think they are safe from Zaslav doesn't necessarily mean they are but I really hope Deadline are right. So, do you think Zaslav would consider scrapping or shelving DCU projects if they underperform, or if he thinks they won't make a profit? And if so, are you concerned about the future of the DCU? Let me know in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.